I have gotten crazy results with intermittent fasting. I've seen good friends of mine get insane results with, with intermittent fasting. And I think the reason I didn't get into it earlier, even though I'm obsessed with improving my diet and I'm obsessed with improving my life, the reason it took me nine years to figure this out and actually implement it was because I never was shown the way. I was always told the way. People told me about how uh, intermittent fasting would, would lower body fat percentage. People sh would show me... Um, you know, pictures of other bodies who, who had great low, had low body fat percentages and things like this, but no one ever showed me on paper how it actually worked. And so today I just thought I'd show you on paper how intermittent fasting works and why it's so beneficial and why you've got to get started today with it. All right. So before we get started, I just want to let you know that there are a few different types of ways that you can do intermittent fasting. There's, there's something called uh, one meal a day. So that's called OMAD. All right. And OMAD stands for one meal a day. And the way that usually works is people give themselves a one to two hour eating window. Okay? That means they go all day long, they go all day long without eating, 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 and then finally maybe around uh, 6 or 7 p.m. they have their meal, and that's it, and then they go back to sleep there. So this is around 7 to 8 p.m. Okay? 7 to 8 p.m. Now, the other type that people do of intermittent fasting is they do something called an eating window. They give themselves a, a, a bigger eating window. That's something that I do. So I go all day long, and then around 12 p.m., 12 noon, I eat my first meal, and then at 4 p.m., I stop eating, and I'm done. So that's my eating window. Okay. Now the other eating window a lot of people give themselves is a 12 hour eating window. Now people even get crazy results with just a 12 hour eating window. That's all they need to do. It saved my life. It's like better than medicine. There's nothing in medicine today that can induce these effects. I can't believe it took me over nine years to figure this out, but I, I'm embarrassed to say it. it took me nine years to figure this out to, to finally get on the track. Um, maybe because nine years ago people weren't talking about intermittent fasting, or at least I had never ever ever heard about it. I only really heard about it maybe two or three years ago, and I only finally started doing it uh, almost religiously, you could say, about six months ago. So here's why intermittent fasting works. Okay. So normally when when people wake up, let's say this is, we'll call this guy Bob. Okay. Normally when Bob wakes up, he uh, he wakes up at let's say uh, six a.m. and then he goes on his day and then about 7 a.m. comes around after he's, you know, had his coffee and he's read the, the paper, he eats breakfast. And when he eats breakfast, this is where he eats breakfast at 7 a.m. Guess what happens to his insulin levels? When you eat carbohydrates, when you eat protein, your insulin level goes up. Okay, so now his insulin level goes up. We'll say this bottom line right here is insulin levels. So he goes through the day, no problem, super low insulin because he's at baseline because he just woke up and then he eats, boom, insulin goes up. Now guess what happens? Throughout the day, uh, let's say finally up until, uh, let's say Bob has his final dinner at 8 p.m., all the way to the rest of the day, this insulin level, it's up. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. It only finally starts to come down around 9 p.m. after about an hour or so after he's eaten. So, Finally, all day long he's up, and then finally he comes down and he's back to, to baseline a few hours after he's, he's, he's had his dinner. Now, during this period of, of raised insulin, guess what your body is doing? It's storing fat. So this is a big fat storage window. Okay? Fat storage window. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be storing fat. I'd rather be burning fat. I'd rather look lean, I'd rather look healthy, I'd rather look good in the mirror, and I'd rather feel my best as well. So when your insulin's up, you, it's proven, you, you just can't focus as well, you can't perform as well, and your body fat's gonna be higher, so you're not gonna be, be able to lose weight, and you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna be more likely to want to, uh, to eat food as well when your insulin's up. It's just much easier to avoid cravings when, when insulin's low as well. So it's another huge tip to intermittent fasting. Now, check it out. If you don't want to be like Bob, then there is an alternative. You can do something called intermittent fasting. So let's say this is you, and you want to not have such a big fat storage window. So what you want to do is you wake up, your insulin's low, and around 12 noon, guess what happens? Breakfast, you break your fast, and sure, insulin levels go up. And then you eat as much as you bloody well want. 
for the next four hours to 4 p.m. Then insulin levels come down and you're back to baseline. And it's at baseline that your body burns fat. So if you're at baseline for 20 hours, because that's the math, if you only eat for four hours in a 24 hour cycle, that means for 20 hours you're not eating. For 20 hours you're in fat burning mode. So for 20 hours a day you're basically doing a water fast. Imagine how lean you're gonna get after 20 hours of water fasting every single day. You're gonna get pretty dang lean. And a lot of people are saying, well Ted, you're gonna lose your gains if you do 20 hours of water fasting. You're not gonna lose your gains because you're still getting all the calories that you need in this four hour eating window. You're not restricting yourself one bit. You're eating as much as you bloody well want. I eat as much as I bloody well want. Now, granted, I do eat a raw food diet, and so that's why I do give myself a four hour eating window. If I was eating cooked food, I'd probably give myself a one to two hour eating window, maybe two and a half hour eating window. But for me on a raw food diet, which is a lot more water content than in cooked food, I need to give myself four hours to get in all the calories I can. If I was doing cooked, I'd give myself a range, maybe I'd go between something like two to 4 p.m. if I was doing cooked. So I'd give myself a two hour eating window, so then I'd be fasting for 22 hours a day, even better, right? You're just not getting in as nutrient dense foods because it's, it's cooked, but that's another video. Now, the point is, look at the difference here. This is a massive fat storage window here, but with you, if you're doing this, the fat storage window is tiny and the, uh, the fat burning zone is absolutely massive. Now, not only this, but check it out. Here's the kicker. Here's the, here's the coolest part of this whole video. When you fast for up to 18 to 20 hours, your human growth hormone, after 18 to 20 hours of fasting, your human growth hormone, which is known as HGH, is 2,000%, 2,000%, higher than it would be if you only fasted for an hour or two. All right, so you're getting a massive release of HGH when you do this 20 hour window. And HGH is human growth hormone. It's a hormone that allows you to build muscle, to put on size, to look great, to have definition. All right, so if you wanna have the body of your dreams and you wanna eliminate cravings and you wanna be able to eat the healthiest foods in unlimited quantity, you don't need to restrict yourself at all, get on the intermittent fasting train. It's not hard to skip breakfast and wait till 12 noon. And it's not hard to stop eating at 4 p.m. because you're stuffed. And when I do stop eating, I am full. My mentality is great before I go to bed. My body feels great before I go to bed. And I never ever need to wake up to go pee in the middle of the night either. So I stop eating at 4 p.m. So come time for 9 p.m., I've already pissed out everything I need to pee out. The only bathroom visit I, I take is maybe right before I go to bed and right when I wake up in the morning. That's what wakes me up. My, my bowels are my alarm clock. So that's it. That's all. That's what you need to know. I hope this video taught you something. If it did, great. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate a subscribe from you. And uh, let me know what other videos you want to see. Uh, adios. Take care and enjoy your next four-hour eating window if you decide to give that a go. Or if you're doing cooked food, maybe give yourself a, a two-hour eating window. And if you're just getting into this, which you probably are, that's why you're watching this video, you actually, I wouldn't even go for a four-hour or two-hour eating window. I'd give myself a 10-hour eating window. And then after a few months, cut it down to eight hours. After a few months, cut it down to six hours. You really want to wean into this because this is a long-term lifestyle plan. This is not some quick trend. I've been doing it for about six months and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to uh, progress down the road, maybe even get to a two-hour eating window myself down the road with, uh, with raw foods somehow. I can do it with dense foods like dates and bananas, but I like to live on a bit more watery food. So this is, uh, this is it for now. Just letting you know that this stuff works, it really works. I really wish someone had shown me this piece of paper and shown me the proof that uh, fat storage is, is absolutely massive when you're eating grazing all day long and fat storage is super minimized and you're actually burning a hell of a lot more fat uh, when you're doing intermittent fasting like this. Plus you're getting in all the calories you need so you're not gonna lose any gains. So anyways, peace out, much love and adios. Probably the number one thing that I noticed is, is weight control. I went seven days and lost 20 pounds. I lost 40 pounds. I never gained it back. I've lost close to 100 pounds and still counting. You actually can work out harder than you've ever done. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so we just arrived to the venue and it's we're setting up our tents and it's just so cozy here. Like, ah, oh, we're going to be next to each other. I'm so happy. Yes, I know. It's awesome. <laughs> Yay, it's the morning of the first day at the Canada Fruit Festival. We're all preparing the everything and um, making it ready for people to arrive. 
and uh, you can hear some music going on. It's really exciting. Ooh.